good morning. It's Saturday the 20th. While Nigel is uh, putting up some more support uh, behind me for um, peppers, um, I am going to plant the last um, soft fruit in a soft fruit bed. So I have never actually talked about my soft fruit bed. Um, so let me give you a very quick <laughs> guide of it now. This is fairly fertile area because it was used for um, um, chicken run a um, few years ago and I had fantastic cucumbers here last year. So all this area which is between the um, small raised beds and the chicken coop at the moment it's got eight soft fruit plants and I'm just going to put another one. Um, well, most of my soft fruit plants came either from the nursery or um, another specialist nursery uh, via mail order. Now this one, the last one I'm planting today, it came from a well-known supermarket and um, well it cost me £1.99 rather than £9.99. I'd be happy to, to report on a uh, progress um, and uh, is overpaying, you know, paying 9.99 worth the money. Now, what we've got here are this row on the right-hand side are gooseberries. So I've got yellow hinomaki, I've got red hinomaki, and I've got the normal green gooseberry invicta. In the middle, we've got a couple of black currants which are beautifully sprouting now into action now and behind that showing signs of life is um, um, white Versailles uh, current and next to it is a Rosamunda planted uh, which I rescued from my hedge and between the rows of two soft fruit, I, at the moment I'm, I'm using the space for putting first early potatoes in buckets. And here I've got a re um, couple of red currants called uh, Jonker van Tets. Tets, yes, Jonker, Jonker van Tets. Um, and one is from the garden centre and one is via mail order. And the last space just here, I'm going to be planting another red uh, gooseberry. Uh, called Hinomaki Red. My red Hinomaki gooseberry were well, looking much smaller than those I bought from nurseries but bursting with life and let's have a look how it goes. I shall report on that later. Well today I will be planting um, the, uh, the um, these are actually second earlies and these are Vilja potatoes. I've got few spaces left in the first bed I planted a week ago and the fleece and the rest of them will go to this bed. So I will shortly um, plant these potatoes and I've got still half a bed left and another very large bed in front of it. So I think all my potatoes are going to go in these three horizontal to the rest of the allotment beds. And um, Nigel is putting more supports. I just take you very slowly. So he's putting more supports um, um, in these two uh, beds w w without netting which he just completed today, uh, we're going to be planting peppers and chilies uh, with the little covers on them. So they are like mini greenhouses, mini polytunnels. And um, just in preparation, because my chili and pepper seedlings doing really, really well indoors at the moment. Well, these are sort of spaced out about 30 to 40 centimeters apart and maybe a little bit too dense but we will see and just to I think it's worth mentioning that these two 
these three beds, the potato beds, are going to be a bit of an experiment in a sense that we're not putting the cardboard down, we're just putting the uh, manure and compost down uh, over the normal ground and we will see if we can cope without putting the cardboard. If not, uh, over winter we will put ca a cardboard and some and some um, more compost on top and deal with it that way. So many more things to plant. I have some strawberries and um, I'm planning this week um, or this weekend depending on timing to um, sort out my strawberry bed. I bought some new strawberries but I have quite a lot of there already. It's this one I think actually I know the variety so I, we see if we can do that tomorrow but um, the broad beans definitely has to go in tomorrow to fill in the gaps um, between the other broad be uh, aquadulce claudia which some of them obviously have, we've lost during the winter uh, i'm also planning to plant some purple top um, turnips and the herbs will need to wait when the bed herb bed is ready but i mustn't forget to water them or to say thank you to my friends who donated these lovely lupin, pak choy and marigolds and uh, if you would like to be notified about on, on, um, another of these videos please subscribe and hit the bell thank you